foot scooting to keep them in front of you, guard rolling to do the same, and uh, getting your hip out of there all together. But just be aware, it can get much more complicated when he has grips. Even, obviously, we have no gi, I mean, the gi though, but uh, when he gets gi grips, it gets much more difficult, or even no gi grips, and stuff. So make sure you're fighting the hands. Sometimes, it will be a cover today, but you might be able to get an arm drag to open something up. You can get his arm across the body, helps a lot. If he knows you're dealing with his hands and his arms well, and you keep getting in front of you, sometimes he might leave with his legs more so instead. He might start stepping in, he might try knee in the chest or the face, as some people do. That's when we're going to start controlling the leg more with our shin on shin. So if he does start trying to step in, if he can get shin on shin, then we're into a different type of control. Okay, so just be aware of that. If we're having good success with the hands, keep in front of us, he might, he might go, say, come in with the chest first. And as I go to deal with the chest, he might come in with the leg off the chest. Keep it on bottom for a second. So, he might go, if you go to the hand fight, he might just come straight in. So, like, you're dealing with something that's down here, and it's gone, and he's coming to the legs. Shin on shin then, if you can. Jeez, that's the ball with your shin on shin. And then we're going to go, all right? All right, grab a sip of water, guys, and then we'll get into some positional scrum. Jesus Christ, guys. It's reverse. Shit on no wonder you don't play much. Grab some cards. water, guys. Grab Stop some water. Stop my guard. It's fucking bent. <laughs> <laughs> All on camera. Yeah. Exactly. 